both of you um, reflect on when your lives changed and you became career music producers. What, what actions or habits can you pinpoint that led up to reaching that level of success? So for me, I guess it's kind of a weird answer. I, I always had a plan, like since I was in high school, that, okay, I'm not going to go past my sophomore year of college. And if I'm not making a living off of music by the end of my sophomore year of college, I'm just going to drop out of college and figure it out, like get a job at Flipping Burgers or whatever. Uh, and so I, I wasn't making a living off of music necessarily when I dropped out. I was making about 800 to 1000 bucks a month. But I figured that I was close enough and I could kind of see what was going on around me that... Uh, I asked my parents if I could live with them for a year, just take like a gap year and uh, see if I could really do this. And I was like, okay, you know what? I can do this within a year. And thank God I did because looking back on it, I could have really screwed my life up. Like, like what if I like failed, like to do this? It's a bit stubborn. I guess I'm just stubborn, but that's how it was. Um, I mean, you have to be st stubborn to do something like this. Right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, no, nah, I mean, you, to me, like, to me, when I was, I moved to Maryland when I was like 15 and I met, I met two people there that became my best friends and they were stupid talented at music and I was complete cheeks at it, like so bad. And, uh, and it pissed me off enough to get inspired to like, go find something to do in music. Um, and I had already tried, you know, all the instruments I can play piano and, and, and I can play drums now, but, um, it was like through that, like just insane urge to like get good at something to, to match their level in terms of making music that I found logic and, and, I, and I found production. Um, and funny enough, like the, the thing to me, like the thing that set me apart and, and allowed me to, to do this full time was uh, discipline, number one. And uh, number two, being okay with like sacrifice, like the amount of of people that I had like lost in my in my in my life because I decided to take this route and, and a lot of my time was spent doing this um, and not you know spending time with people that I used to hang out with I think it paid off you know and, and I think it always will like it's just you put in the work and the time and the dedication and you don't give yourself an alternative like you're bound to make it you know obviously objectively you need to be talented and, and, and have the skills to be able to learn um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to dedication and just being okay and mature enough to know like what's worth sacrificing and, and what's not worth sacrificing.